Welcome to another episode of your review channel. So if you have a heating system like this and you want to change your filter, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode of your review channel. So if you have a system like this, this is an air conditioning and heating system uh, that's kind of in a closet. And if you have an apartment, you might see this. What this is, this is an air filter. And this is really important to change at least twice a year. This is a little paper thin one here. This is a 15 by 20 by... Uh, 15 20 by 1 which means it's 15 inches by 20 inches by 1 inch is thick just so you know what that means and this should be changed at least twice a year and you can see here it looks a little dark and I have one here to give you an example how it should look and it should look like this so you can see a huge difference here in contrast right so this has to be changed and how do you change these things super simple so you buy these in the home improvement store these are really inexpensive to buy and, and they're really super simple to change but you really have to do it so all you have to do to move, take this one out is basically just they, just, they just collapse and they fold out and they come right out here and just, just take it right out of the, out of there. And you can see here, it just slides into these little grooves and it pops up on top. Okay. And it sits inside here. What that does, it, it takes the air and cleans it. And if you don't do this properly, what happens is it adds additional stress into the system. And what it does, it just, it causes more uh, friction uh, so you don't get the proper cooling you don't get the proper air conditioning and what happens is it just draws more energy to do the same exact job if it was clean so the cleaner these are the better they function so all you have to do is again take it and just pop it out just like you see here take this one and we'll just put this to the side again we'll do another comparison you can see here this is a huge difference big 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 difference in those two ones all right and all you have to do to change it is basically slide the new one in just like you see here and there's no right way or wrong way with some of them are certain ways um, but you want the mesh to be in the inside because it's creating uh, a suction and you want the mesh just to hold it holds it in so it doesn't collapse into the system itself so you want the mesh side here the wire in facing into the unit so that's important as well um, and you just slide it in just like you see here and you just fold it down just like you see and pop it in just like that and they fall right in, no problem. You don't have to really bend all this, move all that. It just comes right in and comes out. Super simple. And that is replaced. Again, this was purchased at the Home Depot. Again, this is a 15 by 20 by 1. Um, and different systems have different sizes. So check your system, bring your filter with you to the home improvement store, match it up, and change these at least twice a year. You'll save yourself a ton of money and a ton of energy. Really super simple. So I hope you learned something. I appreciate it as always. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check out all my DIY, how-to, home improvement, all kinds of cool videos that I do have on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified uh, when a new video is available. Hit that notification bell on the side there, on the bottom, and hit that and you'll be notified when they, another video is ready. And also, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel as a Patreon. I have a Patreon link on my channel as well. And Join my channel. I believe it's only like 99 cents a month. Very inexpensive. Uh, and it does help support my channel so I can continue doing these really cool and interesting videos to help you save money. So instead of hiring an a, uh, AC guy or heat and air conditioning guy to come out and change your filter twice a year, they'll charge you 50, 60 bucks to do that. You can do it yourself for like $3. And that's the best way to do it. All right, guys. I appreciate it as always. And I'll see you at the next review.